Okay, um, this is a short tutorial on how to use uh, our little tool called PedCatch. Um, if you just type in pedcatch.com, um, that will take you to this website. Um, and this is used for um, assessing accessibility for um, things like train stations, uh, parks, um, other facilities. And so the first thing you need to do is pick an area. Um, and you can do that in two ways. You can either type the location in here or you can zoom to the location you're interested in, say over here, um, and then right click. And what that'll do is it'll download the street network data for that area and assess that area for topography. So how steep uh, are these streets? Um, so that's one way, right clicking, or you can type in the address. Um, well, let's just type Footscray and it'll download and calculate the gradients. Um, so you can see where it's red, it's over our gradient threshold. Um, the th gradient threshold can be adjusted, so if you were okay with it being a, um, a little less steep, you could type in one in 20, um, or if you really wanted it, it to be fairly flat, you could type in one in 40. Um, let's go back to one in 20. And so what you can do is um, assess access to a particular node. Um, so you do that by dragging the yellow dot to wherever you're interested in. So um, if I was interested in getting into, uh, there's a good shop here for dumplings and so forth, or if you're interested in a park, maybe that would be more suitable, um, or we're interested in the mall over here. Um, we can then choose our walking speed, um, so it could be walking very quickly or even riding a push bike, um, or if you're uh, a little bit slower, you can adjust it down to a more of a sort of... Um, a very slow stroll. Um, let's go back to 1.3 meters per second. We can assess different times, so it could be um, I commonly use times of 5 and 10 minutes and 15 minutes, so you can plug that in. Um, let's go for 10 minutes, we'll leave the gradient and click on start. And so what it does is it's um, running the scenario and it will um, send out these sort of agent type um, humanoids that traverse the street network um, and as you can see they they wander about um, trying to go through each of the different streets they won't go um, along streets that are red um, so streets that are too steep and so you can see you get this um, catchment area um, and we can click on different points so at that point there um, that took seven minutes to get to. Um, here it's ten minutes. Um, and that gives you a kind of convex hull, um, so you can see the area, total area of that catchment shape, which you can then compare with the kind of theoretical, um, as the crow flies, distance, you know, the, the sort of pedestrian catchment circle. Um, we can adjust the background to be a map, um, so this is just Google Maps, or if you're interested in, um, let's do, uh, it's, um, China's um, mapping is a bit skew if um, for Google Maps, so as you can see here, um, roads aren't quite aligned. Um, and so in that case, you can use OpenStreetMap. Um, as you can see, that's far better um, alignment there. Um, we also have uh, the facility to do a simulated um, offset. Um, so, of course, this is traveling down the center of the, um, the road, which is not exactly where you would normally walk. So if you click on uh, offset paths, um, right click to re gather that um, road network and that has 
done a simulated um, footpath which runs down both sides of the street um, and you have little crossing points. Um, so it's suggesting that at, at these points you might have to wait a little bit to wait for cars or for your traffic lights to change. Um, so you can then, so let's go for this stadium and we'll start the simulation. That'll calculate and off these little guys go. So that's the end of this tutorial. Um, please leave comments and suggestions in the comments section. Um, and if you're interested, feel free to subscribe.